J.D. Vance passionately accuses Kamala Harris of aligning with anti-police extremists and pushing for policies that, he argues, jeopardize public safety. He underscores her involvement in fundraising to bail out individuals accused of participating in riots and looting, claiming this undermines law enforcement and disrupts public order. She wants to end cash bail, and what that means is that if you assault a police officer, you can be back on the street the very next day. In fact, when rioters and looters were burning American cities to the ground, including Minneapolis, Kamala Harris was raising money to bail them out of jail. Let's throw them in jail and support the cops. It's, it's hard to believe, but it's true. She helped a group of anti-cop extremists raise more than $40 million to free scores of criminals right here in Minnesota. That's not across the country. That's just here in Minnesota. And I think in November, Minnesota is going to send her a message. They've had enough of Kamala Harris's garbage. They'd like to have a real president. J.D. Vance's fervent criticism of Kamala Harris, particularly her stance on abolishing cash bail and raising funds for those involved in violent protests aligns with a conservative commitment to law and order. Many people are deeply concerned about maintaining strict law enforcement and robust support for police agencies as cornerstones of societal stability. By pointing out Harris's actions as anti-police, Vance staunchly defends the police force. It's crucial for the community to rally behind law enforcement to safeguard the community and uphold justice. Vance's insistence that Harris be held accountable reflects a widespread public sentiment that leaders must bear responsibility for their actions and the subsequent impact on society.